Hi guys, this is the Origin 6 V12 Compensator. Uh, this specific one is for Saiga 12 pattern shotguns. I'm just doing a really quick overview of this, um, and then I'll do a more in-depth review later. All I'm really doing right now is just letting you get a look at it. And uh, I did five shots with and five shots without this compensator, so you can kind of see what it does. And then when I do my full review, I'll sort of explain um, with a little bit more actual shooting footage what I got from using this thing. So it is made from solid billet steel. It's a very nice construction. It's a little on the heavier side if you're used to shooting rifles, but for a 12 gauge shotgun, this is not anything significant. I think the steel version is like 10.4 ounce and the aluminum version is 3.4 ounces. So um, if you're interested in saving a little bit of weight, the aluminum option is gonna be really good for you. This is 22 by 0.75 threads, which is what you get on all of your Saiga 12 uh, threads. And uh, I'm going to show you just a little bit of shooting here, five rounds with 1,400 foot per second uh, steel shot with the compensator and five rounds without it. Hey guys, this is Jeremy McGee from AWS, and I have here a Spetz 12 that we made recently, and I have a Origin 12 V6 muzzle brake. I'm going to show you some 1,400 foot per second uh, high brass ammo and show you with and without the muzzle brake so you can see what it does. Now here's the same thing without the muzzle brake. So what I notice when I use this is uh, you may not be able to see it that well, but uh, you can feel the difference when you're actually shooting the firearm. Um, essentially. The rise, uh, I'm used to this type of firearm, the recoil pattern that it has, and so I actually was leaning forward a little bit when I use this, if you watch closely, the first three shots, uh, actually I kind of overcompensated, I was kind of dipping down a little bit, and then I kind of figured out that was happening and I just sort of relaxed and let the, let the compensator do the work instead of me trying to do it for myself, and the last couple shots there's really no muzzle rise. Compare that to without any muzzle break at all, and, and what you'll notice, especially um, maybe not the muzzle rise as much as the way it hits my shoulder and the way my whole body kind of absorbs the recoil of the gun. That pretty much goes away with the, uh, with the uh, V6 brake. So um, definitely uh, it feels a lot better and then with a little bit of practice once you learn that you don't have to lean in and kind of add to the compensation, um, repeatability with these shots is much, much better. That's it for right now guys. Uh, like I said, this is just a really quick preview. Uh, keep an eye on our page and we will give you a more in-depth uh, review of this and tell you our full thoughts and uh, what you can expect if you buy one of these. But the short version is, is that this thing is definitely worth the money if you're a serious shooter. Thanks. Bye.